Good morning, Mike. How are you? Uh, doing really well and excited to take a trip down memory lane with you. And let's start with those two because when I reached out to you and asked you to join me on the program, I said, you know, Mucho Macho Man, Vino Rosso, those two races, first of all, were tremendous, especially Mucho Macho Man. But the way that you were able to bring those races to life for people on television was tremendous. Oh, the uh, Mucho Macho Man race, uh, I, I remember it taking about uh, five years off of my life. That's uh, <laughs> what I remember because uh, we, we heard Trevor's call, and Trevor was smart enough to, to not uh, try to call that photo. I was the stupid one that, that actually tried to call it and, and for some reason or another managed to get it right. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I, I remember uh, when the two of them hit the wire together, Mucho Macho Man and Will Take Charge, and and declaration of war was between them. Uh, when they hit the wire, Gary Stevens gave this like little fist pump victory on Mucho Macho Man. And to me, at the, the angle that I had it, it didn't look like it was all that close. So I I went and Mucho Macho Man. And then I saw the the replay the first time. I'm like, oh no, this is way <laughs> closer than I thought. And then I watched it again. And then I watched it again. And I am you know, pasty white face, sweating, pacing back and forth. And then I see Mucho Macho Man's number come up on the board first. And just utter relief that I did not call the wrong winner of the Breeders' Cup Classic. Uh, so that, that um, the funny part about that, Mike, is so after that race, I said to myself, don't ever do that again. Don't <laughs> ever try to call a photo like that again. And then comes the 19 or the 2016 uh, Breeders' Cup Distaff when Beholder beat Songbird by probably le- even less, and I call that photo too. So <laughs> it was uh, something about that Santa Anita announcers booth makes me call close photos, and and I, I, I hopefully won't do it again this year. Well, this is that exact moment you just described when Mucho Macho Man was coming down the stretch. Mucho Macho Man has taken the lead as they come to the top of the stretch. Game on, dude is all out. Cutting the corner as Fort Learned will take charge. Declaration of War coming to a furlong to run. Mucho Macho Man. Declaration of War. Fort Learned on the inside. Mucho Macho Man has the lead close to home. Mucho Macho Man. Declaration of War will take charge of final man. Mucho Macho Man. That call has different meaning now that I just listened to you describe what you were going through in that moment. That was, I, I have goosebumps again, Larry. I, I always get a kick out of listening to that because at the very, very end, you hear me say Breeders' Cup Classic, and then in the background you hear Trevor Denman say it exactly the same time. You hear that little <laughs> classic at the end. It sounds like an echo of me, but it's actually Trevor. And, uh, you know, the timing of it was, was crazy. But, yeah, it you know, I remember that night as well, going out to dinner with a bunch of people, and and Jay Privman was alongside of me, and and Jay said, "Hey, have you seen the the actual photo finish yet?" And I'm like, "No, I haven't seen it." And he gets it on his phone and he shows it to me, and I I almost got sick to my stomach looking how close it was. <laughs> it was like, "Why did you do that?" But it uh, it all turned out fine. <laughs> 